Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is going to be a collaborative presentation of the main topics in AP Biology. And the reason it's collaborative is because you guys are going to be generating the presentation uh, collectively as a class to illustrate some of the key, most of the key ideas that we've covered in a class. And in doing so, hopefully create a resource that anybody who would like to could reference to review or remind themselves of some of the major principles that we've covered this year and some of the major principles that are going to be on the upcoming AP bio test. So this also could serve as a sort of open notes tool for you if you feel like your notes from a particular topic are not that strong. Um, this is an editable document by you and everybody has editing rights. So I'm going to kind of have to see how this goes. I've never really done this before, um, but I'm sort of curious to see how it turns out. I think it might be, I don't know, I, well, we'll see. Um, because I've never done this before, you're also going to notice this is not a, a really like polished, not that any of my stuff is all that polished, but the uh, really clear, like, you know, finished thought. I don't exactly know how this is going to turn out, and it's a little bit going to be a back and forth between you and I, but the principle is basically this. Um, you're going to notice as you click through the um, slides on this presentation, uh, headings, and then some sort of slightly grayed out subtopics, occasionally referencing a specific um, learning objective from our uh, unit guides. Um, each one of those big headings is a topic that you could select to do a small presentation on. So that presentation, when you select your topic, um, you're going to be expected to either create a slide over the space where you select, um, or maybe a couple of slides if you need it, but not more than that. I'm not looking for a, a you know, like a five, six slide, 10 minute presentation of a topic. I'm looking for you to summarize the core ideas of that topic in a way that somebody could look at and pretty quickly get the main idea out of. Um, and then maybe say, okay, this is the thing I need to focus on. Here's a few other little facts or ways to think about this information. So we're gonna focus on summarizing key ideas through images and animations first. That is the main thing I wanna see when I click to your page, text second. Text is not that useful as a review tool, especially in open notes, because it implies you're going to have to read all of that before you can even use the information. So images much more quickly get you there, especially if they have tiny annotations that get right at the point. So the text is really only on your presentations are really only going to be to illustrate uh, some image or animation or graph or figure or something like that. Um, key terms should be used throughout your presentation. Uh, I often highlight what some of those key terms might be. Um, and they either need to be defined directly, although I prefer they be defined simply in context. So based upon the way you're talking about them, it's clear what the term means, right? Um, and then uh, in for most of them, I'm going to ask that you try to make a connection between that topic and other topics in the class. So if you choose the one on pH, for instance, and you're explaining us what, what does pH even mean and what, what's an acid and a base, like what's, what are they? Uh, connecting that to protein, protein structure or um, the buildup of protons on one side of the, uh, the membrane in a mitochondria right? So connecting ideas. Um, you only need to pick one topic. So this is sort of first come first serve. Here's how you're going to pick a topic. You're going to find a page. So let's say I was going to pick this page, even though this isn't a topic you could choose. Once you've selected the page, okay, you're going to, and I would just do this in nice big letters for now so nobody else claims it. You're going to put your name, but then I'd also like you to go and change the background to a color. I don't care what color you change it to. 
but that'll make it really quick and easy to see the uh, to see that somebody has selected that page. So as you click through the different slides, if there's no color on it, then it's open for you to pick. If it's colored, somebody else has already picked it. You can't do that topic. You're going to have to pick another one. Um, then, once you've picked your topic, I'd like you to start going and looking at your notes or maybe going back and looking at unit guides to see what kind of information you already have about that topic. You could go to your textbook, you could go and listen to video lectures um, related to that topic. Um, but if you find yourself stuck, and most of them are about unit three, so it's the kind of the unit we just did, but if you find yourself stuck, I'm going to have office hours on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Well, actually, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that you could come and visit, and we could talk a little bit more about your specific topic. Okay? Um, and that needs to be done before Friday, because I don't have office hours over the weekend, and this is due Monday morning. Okay? Um, and when I say do, I mean your sort of initial idea about what you're going to include on your slide. If you're going to have a couple of slides, that's fine. Make sure all those slides have the same color, right? So if I was going to take this slide and I was like, oh, I, you know, I really need two of these. I might make a, you know, duplicate the slide. So now I have two of them. And on this one, I would write other stuff, right? And so then I've got my original slide and then I got my other stuff slide. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to delete that now. I don't want that in there. I'm going to change my background so that you guys are seeing it. No, no, I'll leave it that way. Um, so you do need to think ahead a little bit on this so that you don't get to, say, Saturday or Sunday night having not looked at it and then look at it and have no idea what to do. I don't want emails from people on Sunday night saying, wait, I don't understand how to do this. Can I get an extension when you could have come and checked with me on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday to get some more introduction? Now, it doesn't mean your finished project needs to be there on Friday, on Monday. But I want to see some work towards your finished project. Like, it'd be clear that you have, have kind of a theme or an idea You've got some images in there. You've got some text that may not be well organized. It may not be finished yet, um, but that you've started that. And then next week, we're going to have scheduled assigned meeting times to talk about um, your um, collaborative presentation. Okay. Um, all right. That, uh, that does it. Let me know if you have questions.